Well, hello guys. So uh, today, a little bit different that uh, we are just on this channel. I will try to show you how I am cutting tiles at a 45 degree angle. So uh, what we are doing in this video is uh, getting a normal tile and trying to make this profile cut as you see here. And I'm not trying to go very close to the edge because uh, probably I will leave a little space between the two tiles just so we can grout it and that uh, grout actually gets between the tiles and it will stay there. If um, I, I also thought about making a very close cut, cut to the edge but then um, I'm just thinking uh, that the grout will have uh, not enough place so uh, it will stick onto the tiles after uh, we grout them. So very short, um, this is what we are aiming for. Well, it's not really perfect, but uh, it's not bad. And we start out with uh, the normal. Let me just get one from here because this is what I'll be cutting. Sorry for the mess, but um, I'm in a hurry here and don't, don't really have time to clean up after every cut. So you, as you know, this is the normal profile of a tile, an unrectified tile. Yeah, and uh, we are aiming for this, as I showed you, the tool that I'm using, it's not a professional one, and I uh, saw guys on different channels using an angle grinder with a diamond disc. The problem with that, it's, uh, it's generating a really lot of dust and uh, I have to do a lot of cuts because I have some windows I will show you just in a minute and uh, it's really not worth it to inhale that dust and you can't, uh, I mean you could protect yourself with professional filters and so on but it's, it's not worth it. We can do it by cutting with, uh, with water, with a water uh, cooled disc and uh, this way we avoid inhaling all that dust. So this is an Einha Einhel, Einhel, I don't know how it's spelled and I cannot really, is it not written on the equipment what kind of brand it is? Well this is a good start but I have the box here. Anyway. So it's uh, Einhell, yeah? And this is the model. Like I told you, it's not a professional tool, but it serves me. I can do my work with it. It's no problem. So when I bought it, I said, yeah, it has a 35, 45 degree uh, table. You can move it. And this way I can do my cuts, yeah, easily. Problem is, the table is on the wrong angle, so I cannot do, I mean, I could do the cuts like this, but I cannot really see what's going on behind the tile, like this, so uh, it's really hard. So the way I'm doing this, I will show you, is just by hand and going through the tile like this, from this angle. Yeah, the problem with this tool is it has a really small water tank and uh, usually I have to stop about uh, in the middle of the cut to put in more water. Yeah, but this is it. And also the problem is that uh, water is going anywhere, everywhere from it. And it was, everything was wet here on the floor until I cut something. Well, this, uh, a part of this jug, I cut it and I put it under it, so all the water, well anyway, 99% of it goes into this tank. I made a little hole here and it goes into this bucket, yeah, really hillbilly engineering, but it works and that's the important part. 
So uh, let's cut one tile and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so it's not the prettiest phone holder, but this is what I have here. Okay, so let's get a piece of tile. Yeah, this one that I had already in my hands. And uh, don't forget to wear glasses. I'm also wearing earplugs, maybe this is why I'm uh, a little bit louder than usual. So, like I told you, we have to fill water in this tray. It has a level somewhere, but I cannot see it anymore, so just about until that. Now let's see how much water will get on my camera. I hope you can still see me. So we'll just start. We'll go onto this line here. I will stop just for a short Let, okay it stopped now so uh, we are almost true I don't know how you can see it from there hopefully you can and we have just a little piece here now if I would go all the way on the blade it will probably be cracked right here and uh, one piece of the corner will just pop off. So we don't want that. And this is why, right when I get to here, I will start and uh, work my way this, this, uh, like this on the blade until I get all this piece off. And this way we will have a clean cut. Okay, let me just uh, put some water here. And you need a lot of it. We can see the bucket is working fine. Okay, let's start it. Okay, so I'm pretty satisfied with what came out. Let me try to grab the phone. Hopefully you saw what I did. Yeah, let me get somewhere into the light. Sorry, because this exposure and focus is locked. Okay, now, yeah. How can I put it so you can see it better? The phone is not focusing. Okay, so like this you can see it's a pretty good cut, it's straight, you can still correct it if you want it, and we are saved by this machine by a lot of dust. Okay guys, so this is uh, where we are mounting the tiles, and right now the sun is just coming in from that window, and it's uh, really hard to see. Let's see if I, yeah, I did put on the flash, but it doesn't make no difference. So anyway, this is uh, what I'm kind of aiming for. Let's go a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see it. So if there's just a little bit of space remaining between the tiles, let me see. Oh yeah, maybe this, on this side you can see it better. And uh, this is what I want to fill out with grout and uh, yeah, hopefully it will be fine. So guys, this is how I did it. I will stop the video now and uh, we will film a little bit more when everything is finished. I mean when the grout is put up and uh, see the final result. I'm also curious. Let me just tell you, I'm not a professional. I never only one time in my life I uh, 
put on tiles before and now uh, I'm doing uh, a renovation of an apartment and uh, yeah I didn't call a professional I will try to do it myself and we will see how it goes okay so we'll be back uh, with how this looks finished so guys this is how it looks after it's grouted yeah it looks fine so uh, rather than using profiles you could do it like this yeah the color is not perfect all the way because uh, it's not dried yet but uh, this is what you get okay so uh, this is the final result.